G'day guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today in my studio. Now, today, terrazzo. I know, it's exciting, isn't it? This is my inspiration. I thought, oh, I really like the look of terrazzo. Let me see if I can zoom you in. Now, I just Googled terrazzo and um, it came up with a whole heap of different colors. Now, I picked this one. This is my inspiration. It's got like this pale pinky peach color. You can just see it. Um, and it's got this sort of darker tan kind of a color, light brown. And then over here, we've got like a, a bluey, greeny, pale kind of color again. And then this dark one. I'm not sure if it's a dark brown or whether it's a black. And they're all been embedded in white. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to att attempt it with resin. So I'll pop that. Actually, I'll just put that there. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is um, you could, if you wanted to, pour your resin, your coloured resin onto this. Um, it's double-sided. It's one of those um, silicone pot stand things, holders. Um, and I will use this at a later date and make, um, what do you call it, mosaics. Uh, if you want one of these, it's in my eBay store. They're pretty cost effective. Um, and then, you know, you could pour your different colored resins on it and just move it away. And uh, like They're good for leftover bits of resin. If you've got little bits of resin, you pour them on there and then you can make all your different colors, mosaics and terrazzos and all kinds of things. So that's really handy to have. But I'm going to just pour onto my silicone mat here today. And it's a bit warped. I think the heat of it's made it a bit warped in the centre there. Look at that. So <laughs> I've ordered another one, a nice thick heavy duty one. So we'll see what happens when that comes in. So I've made up 150 grams of resin. I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus only because it'll cure up faster and I can use it faster. So basically all my colours except for the black are going to have a white base because obviously if I put white in black, it's going to go gray. So I've got some clear in there. And um, this is going to be for my pale pinky color. Oh, hang on. Whoops. Backtrack. I've got to turn this into white first. <laughs> uh, I put a little bit aside to remind me that that's for my black. And then I forgot about it. Okay. Now, this is going to be for my white. I'm just going to use um, Iceland white because I've got a big jar of it. So this is going to be my white base. Just clean that stick off. Now, I don't want it to be too, too opaque. I'm going to give it a stir. It's been ages since I've used this. When I started resin, I bought all these different products and different colours and never really used a lot of them. Now, I, I want to just not make it too, too opaque. She might, that might even be too much. Let me just wipe the rest of that off. Am I saying not too opaque and then I'm going to put a heap in? It's only a little cup, hey? I want to be able to sort of, yeah, just not have it too opaque. That's probably too much white in there. Oh, never mind. Live and learn. Okay. I can see the stick through that. I need to give it a bit of an extra stir. Right, so my colours. Um, I'm using these from Amore Art. They're actually opaque colours. You can see by the looks of them that they're quite, it looks as if they've got white in them. So I'm going to use those and just add a tiny bit to my white to try and get this kind of look. I'll try. Okay, so actually I might get a new cup. Start with a new cup, hey? And hopefully we can do that. So that's going to be for my dark brown or black. This will be for my pink. Roughly 40 grams each. It's kind of pinky peach. And then this is my bluey green. And then the last one will be for that sort of tan color. I've got this. It's called salmon. I thought I'd try that with just a touch of brown in it. We'll just have to go go slow and work out what colours we want. But um, if you want to do this, like Google is great for inspiration. If you just Google Terrizzo. Um, 
Okay, that'll, that's all I can get out of that. Whoa! Clean my stick. And now, yeah, hopefully it'll work. And I'd like to do lots of different colours because I think they're really pretty and I think they'd be popular for, um, you know, coasters as well because they look like turrets, so they do. I don't need that. Okay, so here we go. Here we go, here we go. Now, I've got chocolate brown by Amor. I always cut the tops off just because... Um, it's really hard to get the colour to come out if you don't. All right, let's have a look at this. It's pretty strong. That was one drop. Actually, that's quite that's quite transparent. All right, I'll put another drop in. This might take a while, you guys. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh gosh, that was three big drops. I want it to be opaque and then just to make it well a little bit more oh, look at that that's pretty isn't it need it to be a little bit darker for this color here so I'm going to add a drop or so of my cast and craft in black and I've gone for all pigments today that I can just sort of drip in that are with got little nozzles I just think it's going to be easier than putting you know put, just adding one drop rather than trying to get a bit on the stick and mix it in and you know okay so I need a little bit more of the black go another Ooh, a whole lot fell in so this is the only one that's not going to have the white base but I think that's okay and like I said I don't know if it's black or whether it's just a dark brown but I probably actually probably need more black in that it looks very brown Let's add more black. There we go. All right, that can just sit there for a minute while I work on the next one. Now I've got um, oh, it says pastel red, but it looks pink to me. So what I'm going to try and do is oh, see, I haven't I haven't chopped the top off that one. I'm just going to put a couple of drops of that one in, and a couple of drops of this one. This is salmon pink. And see if I can get a nice shade. Ah, it's hard to get out. I'll have to snip the tops off those two as well. All right, let's have a little mix of those. See what we're going to get there. Ooh, peachy. Actually, that's way too peach. <laughs> I might, I might swap that over. This can be for that that brown one there. If I add a little bit of brown to it, that can be my tan. Hey, whoa, maybe not that much. Let's get another stick. Add it slowly. Oh gosh, look how strong it is. Oh gosh, now it's too dark. <gasps> oh my gosh. That was one drop. Oh no, now it's a wrong color. <gasps> oh gosh. All right, I don't like that. <laughs> I might have to mix up some more. I'm off to a bad start here. That's all right. I can mix up a little bit more. All right. So this one, what have we got in there? Nothing. All right. So we'll go back to this pink. See, I should just add them very slowly. Hey, because it's only like a 40 grams of resin in there. It's not a lot. So I think just go slow. So that's quite pink there. I just want to take the pink shade off with a slight little bit of apricot. Actually, I might just... Yeah. Maybe I can get a tiny little, tiny little drop. I'll have to wipe that nozzle though now because I probably have resin on it. All right, let's see if that's... Oh, look, that's enough. <laughs> Oh, look at that that's really pretty okay happy with that one that's a really pale kind of a peachy color I think that'll look nice very pinky pinky peachy this one still needs to be darker I'll mix that black in so I'm gonna have to mix up a little bit more for my brown because I don't I don't like that you 
that still needs more black all right so that's my black that's my pink now the next one let's hope i don't struggle with this one now this one this one's called, called turquoise turquoise blue so let's just do one drop so let's think this is what we need to do to start with one drop and see what it's going to look like because remember the the resin's already white so this should sort of dull it down a little bit look how strong that is that's only one drop it's a pretty shade though it's just probably a little bit darker than what i was wanting so what i'll do is um, I'll add just a touch of white. Where'd that one come from? My brown. I just, I'll add a little bit of white to that. And I've got some white here. Here's one I prepared earlier. Put a little bit of white. If I can get any out of it. I wish the people that make these... Oh, I'm not going to use you. You're too thick. I wish people that make these would make it easier for us to use. All right, there we go. Add a bit of that white. That should tone it down a bit. So basically what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to pour my resin out onto this mat. I gave it a bit of a clean with some alcohol spray and a baby wipe. <laughs> I'm making it worse now. Here we go. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Still needs to be, still needs to be a little bit more pale. Just wondering if I add too much pigment, though. Might be in trouble. If I add too much pigment. All right. I'll have to remember next time just to go really slow, like half a drop at a time. Okay, that's better. A bit darker than what I wanted so what I'm going to do now what I am going to do is I am going to go and mix up some more resin I might actually be able to use some of this I'm just going to go mix up some more resin because I want to mix a bit more white into that but I don't want to put any more paste into it so, uh, I'm going to mix up a little bit more resin um, and I'll tint it white and I'll see if I can get this uh, this color here Resin. What matter if I've got leftovers? And I won't waste that one that I don't like. I will pour it into this because just because I don't want it in this particular pour uh, doesn't mean that I won't use it on a different pour. Right, that's looking good. That's looking good. All right, now I need some more white into this one. Actually, I'll use this stick here it's already got some white on it there we go <laughs> swap sticks let's clean that one real quick clean up as I go all right here we go let's see if that's enough so I'll, I'll um, remix that sort of tan colored one So today, all I'm going to do is um, pour these different colours out and then in about hmm, six to eight hours I'll be able to come back and um, just hopefully just snap them apart, like break them. So you've got to wait until it's nice and set and then make it so that it's not too thick um, and you should better just snap them with your fingers or if you want to you could cut them with the scissors. Alright, let's see how we're going with this. So that's going to be for my new brown. This one's too dark, so I'm going to add a bit of the lighter colour to it, or the white to it, to make it a little bit lighter. And also I was worried about having too much paste in it. Because if you put too much pigment paste in, it won't set. 
won't, won't cure properly. Share because that one's got more. Let's do more in you as well. I do like this pretty pink shade. Mm, maybe just a. Let's see if I can get anything out. Whoa, 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 hang on. Not all of you. Get back out. No, didn't say all of you. I'll just sit there for a minute. Because I might not want all of that whole drop. Probably a good idea to like put some on your little stick and then decide how much you want. Add it slowly. <laughs> You've seen what happened to me when I rushed it. Okay, there we go. That's a pretty pinky, peachy colour. And that's a pretty bluey, greeny colour. I've got my dark chocolate. Now, this one. Trouble Child. Um, I'm going to start with this salmon. Because it's almost there. And then I think I might like, add a bit of that or add a bit of this. Do two drops. One. Get in there. Two. Alright, let's see what that looks like on its own. It's pretty pretty close actually. It's just a little bit too orange. But it's pretty close. Look at that. It's not bad, is it? I might need it a little bit darker. I'm going to go one more drop. Ah, get out, get out, get out. One more drop. Just to make the shade a little bit darker. And then... Um, gee, I don't think I'll use that. It's got a slight purple tinge to it, that one. It's this brown, chocolate brown. It has like this, I don't know, purpley tinge to it. Now, I'm just going to drizzle a drop of that in there and see what happens, hey? And hopefully I haven't put too much in. It is diluted, though. It's like it's not a solid colour, obviously. It's diluted. I wouldn't put a whole drop of brown pigment paste in there, but because it's been diluted with the resin, I feel as if I can add another drop. So basically just doing the slowly now, just to sort of see if I can get that tan kind of a colour. Another drop. <laughs> Hopefully this will be pretty, I don't know. It's hard to get that colour, look it's, it's still not... Oh gosh. I don't have brown pigment, like that brown pigment paste, so I'm not sure what it is. Another drop in. It's kind of changing the hue. It was like an orangish hue, and now it's kind of changed it, but what can you do? Actually, I better hurry up with these. They might flash cure on me. How's that looking? I think it needs another bit of orange salmon nearly there guys bear with me nearly there another drop I guess just mix till you're happy with your colour really just looked a bit insipid before actually I'm liking that better now look at that yeah, we're getting close we're getting close. We're getting there, you guys. We're getting there. And I have to hurry and pour these out. I think those colours look nice together. What do you think? It's like a real sort of a terracotta colour now, isn't it? Do they look nice together? I think so. I think so. I think so. Let's just do... No, let's not do one more. All right, here we go. I'm done. I'm done. I've still got a little bit of white left. I'll see what I do with that later. Um, I, I'll do this later as well. I just want to get these out real quick. Just because they're probably going to start going hard. Alright, here we go. I just have to remember to do one each. So I might do one, two, three, four. Are we ready? 
<laughs> Pull that out. I'm looking forward to doing this actually. I hope those people that initially followed me for my acrylic pouring aren't too upset that I would sort of do more resin now. But to be fair, I've been doing acrylic pours like every day for the last three years. And um, it's nice to do something different. So if you don't like resin and you just want to watch my acrylic pours, that's fine too. I've got like a thousand of them. And uh, they are quite in-depth tutorials. So, you know, go back and watch those. Because if I do new ones, I'm just going to go through exactly the same thing. But, you know, granted they'll be different colours, but just be going through the same thing. So go through, go back and watch those older videos. Because they are very helpful. Um, I need to get some alcohol on my gloves. So yeah, um, but I mean I will do some more. It's just when I have this idea, I think, oh, terrazzo. Is that how you pronounce it? And I think, oh, I'm going to try something new. And of course, this is going to take up my little spot here for the next 24 hours when I do this and then do the coasters. So, all right. Uh, last one, last one. I think these will be nice colours together, hey? I'm happy with them. If you don't have a silicon mat, you can use um, some greaseproof baking paper. Just waiting for my other mat to arrive. I bought a really heavy duty. It's a big one. I think it was like for an oven or stove, stove cover or something like that. Something like that. Um, I'm just going to spray my baby wipe with some alcohol and clean my hands. Put that resin off my glove, same. Eh? Otherwise, you're a big sticky mess. Whoops, dropped something. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is level them out a little bit. I've got this palette knife which has got a nice flat bottom, which is easy to, to use around here. Actually, I'll do this one first. Just like frosting a cake, hey? Okay? Getting a bit thick now. This chocolate brown. Oh, look, I've got a chocolate ganache. Don't want to make it too, too thin, but I want the pieces to be sort of thick enough, heavy enough that they sink down when I pour the resin over them. I don't want them to be floating away. Uh, it's a bit hard to tell how thick that is, but that'll do. Alright, now just wipe that off on a piece of paper towel and do the next colour. This is going to be a long video, isn't it? Maybe I can do it as two parts. You've just been mixed. Maybe I can do it as two parts. <laughs> how to make terrazzo chips and then how to use them in a coaster. Maybe I'll do that. Otherwise we're going to be here for hours. I don't think this one had as much as the others. Like I can kind of see through onto that silicone mat there so I'm just going to make sure that I've sort of evened it. I mean resin is self-leveling so if one section if you've left one section a little bit higher than the others do not despair the resin will level itself out. Just try and make it level-ish. Now you've really run away haven't you? There's a bump there again. Disappointed in this silicone mat, the way it's bumping all over the place. But 
but I'll put this smooth side down in the coaster just in case there are any sort of bumpy issues. Actually, there's a bump there. Let's go the other way. Then I don't have to deal with the bump. I seem to have more blue. So what I'm going to do, once I've broken these all up and I've got lots of little resin chips, I'm going to put them in my little containers and then next time I want to do um, some terizzo things, um, I'll have colours all set to go. And of course I would like to make more colours as well, so we'll do that. And hopefully it won't be such a long video next time because I'll have learnt just to go slow, one half a drop or one drop at a time. Hey, clean up my mess. All right, last one, last one. Here we go. So what do you think of these colours together? They're, they're nice, aren't they? It's a natural, natural kind of looking stone, pebbly kind of terrazzo colours. <laughs> There's a bump there as well. Okay, that'll do. Whoops, I think we're I'm trying to get it neat, aren't I? Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Now, um, I've got a little bit of white left. Let me just clean this up. So what I thought I would do, I don't I really don't like oh look maybe I can maybe I can use that still. Um, let's put some acrylic ink into it and make it nice and dark. Probably about five or six little drops in there. That way it's not being wasted. Mm. I don't know. It's more of a... It's a strange colour. It's a strange colour, that's for sure. <gasps> getting really hot. I'm going to have to get a, a wriggle on and get that out. Now I haven't got any room to put it, you guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right, let me just put that there. Oops. There we go. I'm just going to do that. It's a bit of a strange colour now. It's kind of a. It's like a greyish colour. Let's just pour that out. And we'll spread it. I need to go and get my little palette knife again. So if you want um, mosaics, because um, you use more of a squarish shape, don't you, for mosaics, I think. And then you could cut these in half. Let me just push it like that. You could cut them in half, or you could leave them whole. It's got to work pretty quick because my resin's going off. <gasps> I wanted to use some of the spots for um, some white. Got limited room here now. So the white's still okay. It's sitting over there. It's still okay because I mixed it up afterwards. 
All right, that'll do. I've got most of it out. Let's clean my hands again. Oh no, there's some glitter in it. Um, all right, I've got this. Let's just push that resin. You kind of push down and across and it pushes all the resin into the little squares. You don't want to be over the top um, because then when you unmold it, you'll have like a skin over it. So just do that. Wipe it off. That's probably more difficult than it should have been because my resin is getting all thick and claggy. All right. Um, now let's do the white. Let's do the white. Um, and I might put just a touch of pink in that one. Probably can't see now, can you? A little bit of pink in that one. Because I don't want to waste my resin. See, this is what I mean about if you've got a little bit of resin left over, these are really handy. This little mold. I know you could put it in a teddy bear or a star or something, but if you um, want to make some mosaics or two so coasters, then it's good. Actually, these colours look pretty together. That sort of, it's a kind of a brownish, greyish tone. It's actually quite pretty. Um, here we go. Let's pour that. See, this one's pouring much easier. Let's not overdo it. I need to wipe this. I'm going to pour some, put some alcohol on that and then I can clean my palette knife, get the brown off. It's getting a bit sticky. All right, let's see if I can do this. Oh, that's in the way. Okay, this one's pretty much easier. Doesn't matter if it's overlapped with the brown. You can pick and choose which pieces you want to use. I've got quite a lot of these actually. I should have just done one for brown and one for pink, hey? Um, limited space here. Limited space. Sorry, it's a long video, you guys, watching me push resin into little squares. So when you do this, try and like push the resin in. That way it's gone all the way down. Especially if you've got a thicker resin. If you've got a really thin resin, it'll just fill those little cavities really easily. If you put this down on a piece of um, baking paper, then if anything goes over the side, it just peels straight off. I'm going to do those ones too. There we go, that'll do me, that'll do me. Look, empty, woo, I used it all. Give it a bit of a, a whack. Okay, now I'm gonna clean that off and I'm gonna push that across. Push it across the other way, and I think we're done. Clean up a bit. All right, so that's it. Those colours look quite nice together now, the pink and the brown, don't they? This one's more of an apricot for sure. Kind of wishing it was more pink now. <laughs> oh, never mind. All right, that's me done. Oh, I've got a big mess to clean up now. Back up there. All right, uh, I'll wait till these are set and then I will be back and we'll do the next step. Right, guys, it's later on in the evening. Let's have a little look at how these are going, eh? Hopefully they come off all right. <laughs> Peel them off. They're still bendy. I wonder if they're going to set properly because they're so thin. I was hoping I'd be able to just snap them, but 
Maybe tomorrow I'll be able to snap them, but not tonight, obviously. Alrighty, um, I might just start cutting them in different sort of shapes. I don't want to, like, I want to have them sort of a bit different. I don't want to have everything the same. So I'm just going to do some kind of long pieces and some, oh, maybe not that little bit on the end there. So I don't know if you could see, um, that side's shiny, the side I poured on, and then the side that was up against the silicon mat is more of a mat. I'll have to figure out what side I want to use. All right, so I'm just going to continue to do this. It's going to take me a little while. So I won't put you through me doing all of them. Let's get this one off. Look, this is where the, um, the silicon mat had bubbles in it. There's three little bubbles there. <laughs> well, they kind of bumps. I really do need a new mat, don't I? Definitely. So there we go. I'm not quite sure what size I want. Probably those are a bit big. If I was doing a tray, like a big tray, I probably need that size. But I think because I'm only going to pop them in coasters, I probably only need them about that size, really. What do you think about those sizes? Let's get the black one off. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll finish cutting all these up. Like I said, I won't bore you with them. I might actually cut it in strips like that. It might be easier. And then just sort of cut them in pieces how I want them. Like so. The, um, the matte colour, I guess, looks a bit more like stone, whereas the shiny probably doesn't. So I'll probably put it the matte side down, actually. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, so that's the... It's almost black. It's a very dark brown. Let's get this pinky one up. I'm kind of feeling as if I would have probably liked a little bit more pinky colour in it. It's quite pale, but we'll see how we go. So I'll try and do different kind of shapes. I don't want them all to be the same. All right, so those are those ones. Um, now, actually, let's have a look at... Let's have a look at this. I wonder how easy or difficult this is going to be to unmould. easy look at that oh they're really cute and make really nice little mosaic pieces wouldn't they and if you didn't want to do squares if you wanted to have different shapes you could just cut them oops they're a bit difficult to cut oh cut them <laughs> here we go look and then you've got different shapes that's pretty cute Definitely have to use these in something. And look, they come out really easily. Look at them all. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so fun. Very nice. All right. I'm going to have to make something with these little guys, aren't I? Definitely. Look at those. Come out really nicely. <laughs> what if I could just like shake it? Be easier just to do this actually <laughs> I'm making a mess now I don't want to get all my square pieces mixed up with my other pieces all right I'm going to clean up my mess I'm going to keep cutting these and um I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna do two videos because this is long enough so once I've cut all these up I'll show you what they all look like um, and then in part two We'll pour the coasters. Right, I'll be back in a minute when I've cut them all up.
just wanted to show you something. I was uh, I'm cutting them on here, a bit of paper towel, then I can just pick them up and put them into my little cups. Makes it nice and easy. The other thing, this one is really quite thick. I don't know why, but um, I'm having trouble cutting through it. I mean, I can do it, but to do the whole thing, it's going to take me quite a while. So, um, probably should have done it like earlier, as soon as it was set. But I was thinking that it would snap, but it's not. So, if it's too hard to cut, just get your heat gun and just warm it up a bit. Make sure you're on a surface that's not going to catch fire, obviously. And then see it goes nice and bendy, so then it's easy to cut. Look at that. So I just wanted to show you that. So what I'm doing is I'm basically just doing some strips like that. And then I'm doing some bigger ones and some smaller ones. Just in all kinds of shapes. It's much easier to cut when it's soft like this. Oh, I should have done that earlier. Whoa! He says, I want to go in the cup. Not ready yet. You're a bit big. I think that's about the right size. So I'm just doing all sort of interesting kind of shapes so that they're not all exactly the same. Some bigger, some smaller. So yeah, just thought I'd show you that. So I will continue cutting these up. Be careful, don't cut your fingers. Much easier to do when your little piece of resin's warm and soft. There we go. And then once they're on the paper towel, just pop them in. Righto, that's me finished. Well, I'll keep going. See, these these are getting quite hard. I, I probably don't need them all. I probably won't do them all, but most of them. Right, see you soon. All done. Look, don't they look real? Look like real bits of stone, don't they? There's the chocolate one. Now beigey coloured one. And then our pinky peach coloured one. So that's it for part one. Uh, part two I will make in the morning. I'll mix up some white resin and uh, we shall make the coasters. So thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you're notified when I put the next video up. And um, these are really cute too. I'm going to do a grey. I think the grey would look really nice with this sort of dark brown and um, and pink. Wouldn't that look pretty? A grey and mm, what else? What other colour would I use? Alright, see you for the next video. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye for now.